What is that? Hey. You didn't catch that fish. <laughs> How in the heck is everybody doing? Quick little intro here. Uh, this is one of our favorite lakes in Gwynn, Michigan. Pretty spectacular lake. One of the few that you can catch not only master angler, panfish, but uh, you can also catch big rainbow trout. And it is unfortunately chock full of, as you guys will see, a ton, a ton of stunted largemouth bass. So very rarely do you go out hard water fishing, catch giant bluegills, rainbow trout, and a bunch of bass all in one day. But uh, that's what we did here with a bunch of great friends. Special shout out to Marquette Adventures Guide Service. His link is down in the description. Give him a subscribe. Tell him Hunters for Life sent you. If you're interested in any guide, well, let me start over. If you're interested in any guided fishing trips in Marquette County, he's your guy. I think he's only one of probably less guides than I could count on one hand. So uh, you don't have very many options up here, and he is by far the best. Check him out on YouTube. Tell him we sent you. And without any further ado, here is the video. Haven't even been set up for five minutes, and we got our first flag. I bet you it's a largemouth. Nothing. Hooked up with our first fish, trout bass. <laughs> Not bad, brother. It's a little large mouth. Floppy little guy. Flags up. Ah, you're quick for an old man. Huh? Jesus. You say two flags or what? Yeah, there's one right out there. Which one? We'll let him sink back down right here. Oh, gotcha. Bass. Yes, <laughs> feels like a small bass. But it's tiny. Or a small trout. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. That's a wall hanger there. Yep, it is. It is a trout. Oh, he's, he's tangled in my other line. You need some help? Nope, just let him let him get tired. Oh, he's on my transducer. Get him! Trout! I'd say that's a keeper trout. Beautiful. Pull that fish up. Well, I'm sitting here eating my beef jerky. I'm going to catch my first rainbow. Not a keeper, but... Gotta start somewhere. Can you take that off for me? Yeah. You wanna get your hands all fishy? I wanna get my jerky all fishy. You got a line? Or a small something. Bass? Trout? Yeah, it feels like it. Walleye? Sturgeon? I think it's a warm mouth. A warm mouth? On a tip up? Yeah. Actually, this is like the first. What is it? It's a, it's a bass. About a foot long. Nice. About a three pounder. 24 inch trout. Sounds like Christmas over there. I don't know. I'm in the zone. About to go for another bear cat rip. Ho ho ho. Finally found another something on the old jigging rod. I got a bluegill, boys. No, close. We're not fishing for largemouth. <laughs> Give me my hook back, sir. There you go, buddy. Just demolished my gobble waxies. Oh, oh, I might have found me a good one. Oh, well, maybe not. Possibly a bass? Okay, bluegill. Not quite a keeper. 
going in the right direction though. Couple trout, bunch of bass, couple bluegills. So far, not too bad of a day. What is that? Probably a <laughs> decent bluegill. Come on, Brian. I definitely thought it was going to be a bass. Huh? This could not be a bluegill. Could be a trout. Could be a trout. No, just a decent bluegill. Hooked up with another one. Oh, eh. decent. He gets a free pass today though. I think I might keep a couple too. I haven't had bluegill in a while. I have like three different kinds of batter. Got shore lunch Cajun, shore lunch, original shore lunch beer batter and Drake's batter. Drake's batter is probably, that's probably the best one. But I do like taking like half and half with the Cajun and the original and mixing them together. Or even just egg wash and breadcrumbs. Bass, you think? You were correct. You were correct. Very little bass. That was like five inches. Could be another. Oh, I don't think this is a bass. I don't know. Another bass. Bigger than the last bass, though. Hooked in the same spot as the last bass. Got him. Could be a rainbow. Really hard to reel in with a mitten on. Oh. No, it's a dandy bluegill. Every time I consider moving, I catch a nice one. <laughs> Not bad. Alex just lost a beautiful rainbow. Lost two rainbows now. Two keeper bluegills. Yeah, one sec. Smaller bluegill. Or it's a really small bluegill. It's not what I want, Brian. I want his great granddad. This could be a trout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, just a bass. God dang it. <laughs> the bass are getting bigger. Thought for sure that was going to be a trout. None for you, Brown. Sorry, bud. No bass for Brown. Oh, I just missed one. Probably a bass. Dude, that's a good bluegill. That's a real good bluegill. We got four nice bluegills so far. Oh, geez, guy. Ooh, could be another good one. Could be another good one. Okay, one. Oh, he's okay. He'll go back. Yeah, he'll go back. 
gets a free pass. Yes. Oh, that was a bluegill. No. Wasn't a keeper. It could be. Big, whatever it is. Are you kidding me? No, my freaking water. God dang it. That sucks. He just choked it too. I thought for sure that was going to be a trout. <laughs> that was a trout. Blue girl. Take my hook back there, bud. Thank you. <laughs> well, Alex finally landed a trout. Not a bad. Could be a trout. He hit it very bass like, but he's very trouty, head shaky like. There you go. I doubt he's 12. Might. Let's go see our buddy. This trout gets a free pass. Yeah, he, 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 he hit it pretty hard. And you get them big, long head... <laughs> no. Now my chair's getting all icy. Oh, this really might be a good one. I, I just made sure it got all super tangled. What the hell? I didn't touch it. I didn't do anything. It's now it's all tangled up. Been sitting right here the whole time. That's an okay one. <laughs> oh, I think this is a bass. Yeah. Is a bass oh. yeah, Gil. You didn't even hit, I kind of just pulled up and it was heavy. And I was like, huh. What do you think of that, Brian? Watch out, bud. It's so frustrating. <laughs> what, just sitting here next to me with this name Lure, not catching him? Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, we're about halfway through ice fishing season. Bear with us. There's not too much else we can do up here with duck season being closed and all other water being frozen. It's about ice fishing or uh, ice fishing, really. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. Leave a comment if you're interested in entering our giveaway. A comment enters you for life into all of our giveaways. The way that we do them is we randomly choose a video and randomly choose a comment when we have giveaways. And that was uh, that's how we pick the winners. And we have a buttload of good prizes. I think we have like five mystery tackle boxes and five lucky tackle boxes for our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So tell a friend. And uh, if 2,000 of you tell a friend each, then uh, we get to have a giveaway. Probably going to take a lot longer than that, but we'll get there. If you guys are interested in picking up Hunters for Life apparel, hats, or t-shirts, head over to huntersforlife.com. Link is down in the description. That is also where you can make a donation to our nonprofit. Help us out. And um, that's about all we got. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, happy adventure.